Tampa area man has some explaining to do after he says he mistook his girlfriend for a wild hog and shot her. His girlfriend remains hospitalized with a gunshot wound to her legs. West News Claire Pets reports this all happened Saturday at the Cowart hunting camp in Flagler County. The Cowards have thousands and thousands of acres out here on the west side of Flagler County for cattle ranching, but they also lease some of their property for hunting. And a group from the west coast of Florida have held that lease for 35 years without an incident until this past weekend. You hear sound in the bushes, you never shoot in the bushes. Property owner Rob Cowart says that's just common sense, but 52-year-old Stephen Egan apparently didn't follow it, hunting wild hogs from this site. There are beasts like these all over the property, and sheriff's deputies say Egan saw one from his camp, called a blind, and fired. He didn't immediately see the kill. Returning back to the area where he thought he shot, shot it, he heard rumbling or you know, rustling in the bushes, shot again, and ended up being his girlfriend. That's right. While looking for the hog, girlfriend Lisa Simmons left the blind to pick up some oranges that grow wild on the property. It was her he heard rustling in the area, not the hog. The bullet from the powerful rifle tore through both her legs. He was uh, very, you know, apologetic when we were on phone call with him. It was an accident. It was an accident. That's how we're looking at it as an accidental shooting. An accident, says owner Cowart, but one he hopes doesn't happen again at any given time. Dozens of people could be out and about here. You have to see the prey before you shoot. It's just one of those rules that, that you don't ever, I don't care if there's a lion or a tiger or, or a bear. I mean, you just don't do that. We understand rescuers applied tourniquets to the victim's legs while they waited for a helicopter to find this remote spot land here and fly her to Halifax Medical Center. She underwent surgery over the weekend and is still there recovering. In Flagler County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.